Hey guys, just want to do a little video here. This is not a full race review. Uh, just want to say this is about cautions and weather delays in NASCAR. Uh, just want to say, you know, it was sad to see today on TV Bristol only having a thousand people in the stands. Uh, you know, these weather delays, they've got to come up with a different type of a way to do stop this because. A lot of people spend a lot of money. You know, if you pay one hundred fifty to one hundred sixty dollars a race ticket, you want to see racing. You don't want to see uh, delay to the next day. Then have caution for rain. Stop the race. Caution for rain. Stop the race. Caution for rain. Stop the race. They got to stop that. They got to quit doing this because it's killing the sport. A lot of people. A lot of the fans are like, you know, I'm not gonna go back again because if it comes to rain. The, there's no stop it. Well, they need to look at these weather stuff. They need to say, hey, say the race starts at 2 o'clock and there's a bunch of rain on its way and they know it's coming. Don't start the race. Don't even start it. Just wait until you get a clear path, whether it's next day or if you got to cancel it for three, four, three or four months later. Do what you got to do because all these fans are getting to see the race and like today, 114 caution laps. I mean, that is a lot. 114 caution laps that could have been racing instead of a yellow flag for rain. So, and I hate it because today's race and yesterday's race was the best race in the Bristol we've seen in years. The racing was fantastic. Don't get me wrong. I love the racing, but... It's Steve O'Donnell, Brian France. You assholes need to go. And normally I don't get mad about this stuff. It's just I'm getting tired of seeing the way they're treating the fans. And uh, it's like, who cares if you pay $150 a race ticket? We're going to run this race and we're going to have half the race of caution laps. And you go buy your hats and shirts, give us the money. That's the way I'm seeing NASCAR now. Uh, they need to say, hey, let's cancel this race to we can start it from the green flag. Now, I can understand if it's halfway through it or 75% through it and it rain, it's a different story. But if you got rain coming and you know it, my local weather channel, like I said, I'm right next to Bristol, Tennessee. They said it would do this all weekend, and NASCAR knew it. I mean, Saturday was a beautiful day. Xfinity race is nice, even though... Let me tell you another thing about that. The reason why there was twice as many fans at the Xfinity race is because the tickets ain't as high. I've got a three-year-old girl, which I'm going to take to a race in a few years. I'm going to take her to watch the truck race or Xfinity race because I can't afford all this money. It, it was, they even tried to let the kids in for free today. Local kids down there, but... Their parents was actually smart enough to keep them away because they knew it was going to still rain. It was going to be cold. I mean, it, it, just stupidity on part of NASCAR's effort. I hate to rant about this. I hate doing it. But whenever you see the sport you love that's not used, no sense at all, especially Brian France and Steve O'Donnell and all these people, there was other ways around this. Yesterday, they knew the rain was coming. What was the point of even starting a race? Whenever they started that race yesterday, they knew within 15 to 20 minutes that rain was going to be there. And then you had all them caution lamps run there as they come around. I mean, it's just a waste of money for the fans. The best racing they've been there in years, and they got to deal with this. So, uh, I don't know. It just, it just angers me to see the racing that good. And then also, it messes the drivers up. They lose their thought of racing. Then you got wrecks. Uh,. I don't know. It just. I just wish we had new leadership in NASCAR. It needs a change. And it needs a change bad. You know, I mean, it's a. Uh, they've got to be different solutions for these weather delays and start times or races and stuff like that. If uh, they need to uh, figure some system out, whether it's. If they know for a fact it's going to rain all day on a Sunday, get word out to the fans. Say, hey, let's have Russell in a night race. 
I could have run out Saturday night, get words out, or delay it to, if Monday's supposed to be in the period of pretty, run it Monday, where you could run the whole race, or maybe even down the road two or three months from now. So people can get in there and watch it. You're paying big money in there. Look how many people paid all that money, and they didn't even get to watch it. Half the people had to go back home to go to work to keep their jobs. Instead, they lost all that money. So that's just my little rant on that. People can say whatever they want to, but that's just me. And I don't agree with Voy NASCAR or running stuff with that. So uh, it's good to see the racing back. This is not a full review. I'll do my review later. But it's good to see a good racing back at Bristol. But uh, it's sad to see NASCAR King make it enjoyable for the fans. But that's just my take on it.